Hello students, I welcome you all to this small YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss some of the most magical, amazing tricks from Thermal Properties of Matter. See, this chapter is a very vast chapter. That's why we have lots of tricks and lots of models of questions. Okay, so uh, let us see the first question and first trick. A pendulum clock is 5 seconds fast at temperature of 15 degrees Celsius and 10 seconds slow at a temperature of 30 degrees Celsius. Okay, the temperature at which it gives correct timing. We have to find correct timing. All right, now let us come to the trick. First of all, note this two numbers, 5 seconds and 30 degrees Celsius. Note it down. Okay, note them. Next, note this 15 degrees Celsius and 10 seconds. One time, one time quantity and temperature quantity. One temperature quantity and one time quantity. We have to note them. Now, look at these two quantities. Multiply them. 30 into 5, what will be the answer? We have to calculate correct timing, right? So time is equal to, first multiply them. 30 into 5 is 150. All right, now multiply these two, 15 degrees Celsius into 10 seconds. What will be the answer? Don't, don't focus on the quantities, okay? Don't focus on the Celsius and seconds. Just multiply the numbers, okay? What will be the answer? 150. Now, divide these both numbers with the sum of the time. What is 10 plus 5? 10 seconds plus 5 seconds. What is 10 plus 5? It's 15. Am I right? So 150 plus 150 plus 150, 300 by 15. If we divide, we will be getting 20 degrees Celsius. See, in just one line, in just one line, you got the answer. Am I right? See, in so simple manner, we can get the answers. Just note down the two quantities, add them. So first multiply and add them, divide them with the sum of the time. You got the answer. Next. Let us move on to the next question. Coefficient of cubical expansion of the solid is 0.00027 degrees Celsius. Its temperature is measured on Fahrenheit scale. Numerical value of the coefficient of linear expansion of the solid. See, we need the numerical value of the coefficient of linear expansion of solid. Whenever, okay, listen to me carefully. Whenever you come across this model, this type of question, apply my shortcut magic number see this is my shortcut magic number this is my cheat code 5 by 27 and with 5 by 27 whatever the coefficient of cubi cubical expansion of the solid they will give in the question multiply with it 0 0.00027 see some pe some students will think here the coefficient of cubical expansion has 27 that's why i have taken uh, 27 no this cheat code you can apply to any problem okay let the number be 72 54 36 whatever it may be you can apply this shortcut trick you can apply this cheat code okay now if you divide this what you will be getting 0 0.00001 all right now if you multiply what will be your answer 0 0.0005 degree fahrenheit now search which option matches this number second option See, in just one line, okay, one line, you're getting the answers. Only in one line, okay? Now, let us come to the next question. The fraction of ice that melts by mixing equal masses of ice at minus 10 degrees Celsius and water at 60 degrees Celsius. This is 60. Okay, I'll write it clearly. 60 degrees Celsius. Am I right? Okay. The fraction of ice that melts by mixing equal masses of ice at minus 10 degrees Celsius and water at 60 degrees Celsius. See, again, even for this question, I have a cheat code number. Whenever you come across this type of questions, when you see ice and water, ice and water, you apply my shortcut cheat code. See, the number is, first, take this ice temperature minus 10 divided by 2 okay what will be your answer minus 5 now add the next temperature what is the next temperature 60 degrees celsius if you add 60 degree what will be your final answer 55 here comes my cheat code number whenever again i am telling whenever you come across ice and water problem 
after doing this much calculations just divide the number with 80 if we divide the number with 80 11 uh, okay 11 okay this will be 11 and this will be 16 you got the answer see if you want you can go and search in google they have used so many formulas and if you go on solving with that method you will lose two to three minutes but if you solve with this method with this trick with this shortcut in just one line again in one line you can get the answer what we have to do again i'm telling this 10 degree celsius which is the temperature of the ice divided by two okay you will get some answer you will get some value okay next add the temperature of the water you will get some other value now to this value divide by my cheat code what is my cheat code 80 okay when you divide with 80 you will get your final answer option 4 okay next let us come to the trick number 4 read the question carefully the ratio of the length of the two rods is 4 is to 3 the ratio of their coefficient of cubical expansion is 2 is to 3 then the ratio of their linear expansion when they are heated through same temperature difference okay what we have to find we have to find the ratio of the linear expansion see whenever again you come across this type of models what we have to do first write down the ratios what is the ratios 4 by 3 4 by 3 now multiply with another ratio 2 by 3 final answer 4 2 is a 8 by 3 3 is a 9 solved how much second if you solve in mind in just two seconds you can get the answer just two seconds in one line you got the answer for so much for so much lengthy question am i right okay now let's let's move on to the fifth trick See, a brass rod and a copper rod have same difference in the length at all temperature. If the difference in the temperature is 10 centimeter at 0 degree Celsius, so we have to find the length. Okay, if we have to find the length. Now, first focus on this number. See, here in the coefficient, we have 10 power minus 6. Even here, we have 10 power minus 6. So, we can cancel them just for our convenience. We are applying the shortcut trick, right? So, while applying the shortcut trick, let us cancel them, okay? Now, what we have? 19. Another number. Search for another number. 10 centimeter. Multiply with 10. Multiply with 10. Divide with 2. Why 2? See, see the difference between these two coefficients. 19 minus 17 is 2. So, I have divided with 2. 190 by 2 is your answer which is 95 centimeter similarly take 17 17 into 10 this was this now 17 into 10 by 19 minus 17 is 2 so i have divided the whole number with 2 next 17 into 10 is 170 divided by 2 which is 85 centimeter now search this two and the search this two answers in your options option c matches your final answer now this problem is very very important why because the same model have already been asked in NEET 2019 okay in NEET 2019 already this model have been asked so the future aspirants must focus on the previous year questions okay so thanks for watching again I'm telling I'll be working on these chapters for making more much amazing magical tricks so stay tuned I'll provide the link to all those videos in the description box. Thanks for watching.